Welcome back everyone to another video and this is a preview video for a door system series which I recently created. This doesn't only include the doors, this also includes like the drawers and you can have one door per actor or you can have in like in this example I have two doors and three do drawers. So technically there are no limits to this. So this system is fully functioning. If you walk up close to the doors they will always open away from you. As you can see, if we uh, these are not going to open because these need the code. So if we open the code panel, it was so it was eight five five seven two is the code. Enter, boom, the doors are getting opened, and after a couple of seconds, they should close on their own. There we go. Uh, another thing, so these doors are fully locked. I don't have keys for those, but well, for these I have keys, but well, these are locked. So I'm gonna unlock this with Shift E, and then once I click E once more, the doors are openable and closable and also we can lock them and now nobody can interact with those anymore uh, the next thing is here we have some sh shelves uh, some doors for this cabinet we have some drawers and if I'm not mistaken the second drawer requires you to have a code there we go so it's 992211 and the drawer is getting open and it should close there we go uh, so all of this system is fully replicated so if we would go if we would open this from the client side so you can see we are opening the doors the other guy can walk through those and there we go so everything is fully replicated and fully functioning and now real quick let's talk about how this whole system is going to be presented to you so we have six videos in total the first video is about opening and closing the doors themselves very basic system only the base framework is going to be laid down on this but the doors are going to be functioning uh, in the next video nine minutes well ten minutes uh, we're going to add locking mechanism so that we could use a key uh, right now in this project file that I just showed you we are using just an uh, integer to determine what kind of a well technically key we need to use but in reality it's just a number that you basically assign to your doors and then you add that inside of your character and then that works like your key uh, later we're gonna add like actual keys as well uh, then in the next video we have the code lock where you need to input the code like I just did to open the doors or the drawers depending on what you have but well at the video 3 you're not gonna have drawers because video 4 is about drawers where we're gonna add multiple actors in uh, multiple components in the same actor that we can interact with because the regular doors only has one uh, component in it that is movable technically you could have as many as you like but well up, up until this point we only had one in this video we're, we're, we're gonna have quite a lot of them now fifth video is about multiplayer replication as you can see the time 4 minutes 28 seconds very simple very basic just f few true clicks about replicating component replication uh, changing a couple of events to be ran on server and multicasted so very very basic very short and actually super super easy um, the last video which is extra video which isn't really in the series kind of but it is what we are essentially doing is we are bringing this system into our inventory system series so inventory and crafting system uh, series right now also that project consists with this door system so this is our inventory and crafting series project where we have our doors implemented in the in this project so we have basically well exactly the same actors we need to make some tiny tiny changes um, I added a key over here so I have a key item but well uh, that's not the key for this door uh, essentially you can have any item can be your key as long as you have that one specific item in your inventory you're gonna be able to unlock the doors and what I did I simply used a medical box so if we pick up the med box walk up to this door right here we can't open it but if we control E we unlock it and then we can interact it with it with the key E there we go so uh, that's that's basically it so um, for the next few weeks, I'm going to be uploading these videos about these series. Uh, my Patreons already had access to these videos beforehand. So if you want to watch the whole series right now and you don't want to wait, you can obviously support me on Patreon and you will receive uh, in my Patreon page. There is a link to a playlist with all of these videos. And well, hopefully within a few weeks or days, I might have another playlist for my Patreon. So yeah, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.